All right, we're going to we're going to do a pecan graft here. It's called a four flap graft. You'll see why it's called that here in just a minute. Some people call it a banana graft because you peel it like you peel the bark like a banana and put in our graft wood. Uh, this tree here's an ideal size. We're going to put a graft right in between this bud and this bud, which means we're going to cut this off right here. All right, well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to prune back these other limbs and anything that's dead, like that's a dead one there, we'll clip it off, that one's dead. We're going to take off these little green shoots for a reason, because we're going to put our graft up here and we don't want these limbs growing down below it. Now later on in the summer, we'll let two or three grow, but for this first month, we want to keep everything off of this tree in the way of growth, except where our graft is. Now, I've selected that so we've got a good smooth surface all the way around our tree. We'll take our knife and we're going to make four cuts straight down. Now you don't have to put very much pressure after you do it a time or two you'll get a feel for it. But you just, it, that bark is real thin and soft. And it truly is as soft as, as if you were peeling a banana, a banana. If you're going to be cutting into a banana it'd be just about the same thing. So we're going to make four cuts on four different sides of that tree trunk. Now, we're going to put a little rubber band on here. And you'll see why in a minute. But we're going to go ahead and put that in. You'll forget that the first time or two you do it. And you'll forget it after you've done a couple hundred. But anyway, uh, you put a little rubber band on there. Now we're going to peel the banana, so to speak. You take your fingernail, reach in there. Now you can only peel bark like this in the early spring and early summer, or in the spring and early summer. In the winter time, you can't do that. That's just that's as tight as bark on a tree, as they say. It, there's no sap up there, and it will not peel. Now, I'm going to hold down two of those flaps with my clippers and two with my fingers, and hopefully not take the finger off. And we're going to clip that little piece out. Okay, now we're going to replace that with sign wood that we'd cut back in late February. So we're going to pick one that's about the same size as the one we just took off. You'll see here we've got several buds on this. There's one, two, three buds, four buds. One of those buds is going to become our tree. I'm going to clip off the very bottom because there'll be a little bit of dead stuff right at that very end on beat on both ends. Brown, it's going to get brown. So I clipped that little tip off of there. Now we're going to make four little slices to match up with these four flaps. So there's no real great art to it. It just now those four cuts are going to match up with these four flaps. We're going to drop that right in there. We're going to take that little rubber band and bring it up there to hold it in place while we go ahead with the rest of this project. Take some electrical tape. And we're going to 
secure that, those four flaps with that little sign wood. I hear a tree frog over there chirping. I go, I wrap it up and then I come back down. You'll have to get it real tight. We're just kind of making it airtight and kind of holding it together. Now, I always leave what I call a pigtail like this. I just kind of roll it up and come next winter when we come back to take this wrap off, we'll have something to grab a hold of. When that thing swells, it's going to be twice as big next year as it is now. It'll be this size instead of this size. So this, that's going to stretch and it's going to be hard to peel. So I leave a little pigtail there, I call it. Now, if, if you're going to graft, take the time to put a brace on. I usually use the top of the tree that I just cut off and tape it right alongside. That looks good right there. I kind of kind of try it this way and that way. And you'll find where the top, the bottom, and the middle all kind of lay against your sign wood. Tape it there. Tape it there. And then we'll tape it right up here at the very top. Okay. Now, we'll put a little foil on it as a reflector. That black gets pretty hot with the sun beating down on it. Put that on there. Take a little flagging. Hold on the foil and identify the tree. You know if you've got if you're out in the field and you're doing a hundred of these, you'll uh, as the tree sprouts out you can lose track of them. So if you've got if you've got a lot of a lot of flagging on it, you can locate it. What this little brace stick does is just supports this sign wood that we put on. And something as simple as a metal arc could come along and land on that, you know, uh, and cause it to bend over. This is what I call the easy part: the grafting. It's really pretty basic, pretty simple. The hard part's keeping that on there for five years. 